Hello everyone. In the previous video, we saw how a new application can be integrated on Secura using no code framework. Now let's see how we can integrate a SIM tool and ingest offenses. First, let's create an application. I will take an example of QRadar. We'll give a version, then we'll select category as SIM. Now let's add app parameters. You, that is URLs and credential, then username, password, now application is created, now let's add few tasks here, first let's add task to get source IPs Curator uses uh, basic authentication so we are just passing username and password now let's build the URL to get the source IP Now if we execute, we are able to see that we are getting all the source IPs in the QRadar. Let me save this task. We'll add one more task to get the destination IPs. We will build the URL to get the destination IP address. <coughs> now we can see that in the response we see all the destination IP address. I will save this task as well. Now let me add a, a task to ingest cases. Okay, header is accept application not json content type not json then we need to add the authorization And then since we are using this task to ingest cases, let's click on ingest cases and we'll provide 50 incidents per request and the page start will be one. We can also provide custom query and the date from where we want to fetch the offenses. Okay. Now I'll add the range as well. This range actually gets the offset and limit required for the execution and for fetching the offenses. Now let's build the URL. Now if we see in the response, we are getting the first 50 offenses which we have passed from offset and limit now i have i want to ingest cases so i'll click on that and we can see that incidents list field so this is the field where we get which we have to choose from where we are getting the entire offenses or incidents so here we see that it is the data field so i'll just select the data and this dependent task is something like uh, uh, in the response, we are getting the source IP IDs, but not the addresses directly. So if we see here, Curadar is not providing 
source IP addresses directly for a, a fence. So it will give an ID and then you have to fetch the IP address from a different task. So uh, we have we have already added source IP addresses and uh, uh, destination IP address task. Okay, so we'll just select those from here. So these are the dependent task and then I'll select ID. That is the input and the output will be the source IP. Again for destination IP address, I'll choose ID. And local destination IP. Okay, so from this task, when we pass ID, so we'll get the source IP. And from the destination IP address task, when we pass ID, we'll get the local destination IP. Okay, now let's move on to the field mapping. First, we have to select this mandatory field, which is the ID field, the unique field uh, uh, for an offense. And then if we have a status field, we can map that status field from the response as well. And also we can map the start time uh, from the response. And then for source IP, it is not directly coming from the response. So we have to use dependent task output field. And then here we'll choose the source IP address. And then we'll pass source IP IDs, source address IDs for this. Okay. And for destination IP address, we'll again choose dependent task. And then choose get destination IP. And here we'll choose destination IP address, local destination address IDs. Okay. And then we can also add some dynamic keywords or uh, labels. So let's say I want to add client and I want to give a static data for it, like X, Y, Z. So for each ingested case, so this will also be added. Okay. Now the task is ready. So I'll click on save. So now the task is saved in 30 to 40 seconds. We'll be able to see all the cases that are getting ingested. Now we can see all the case ingestion has started. And if we go inside a particular case, we can see that the source IP and destination IPs are available on the case detail screen. And on raw data, we can see all the fields that are coming from the QRadar. And also we can see the dynamic field that we just added with a value onto the case. Thanks for watching.